Morning, we're introducing you to a Portland teacher using technology to help close that learning gap. Robert Adut is a math teacher and founder of free online math video lessons, yaymath.org. I spoke with him about his new work with Carnegie Learning's revolutionary math stream platform that's helping struggling students with personalized support in real time. It's very cool to see inside your Northeast Portland studio. I'm so curious, how did you first get involved in teaching students math? Well, I was a high school math teacher for many years. And while we were teaching, we had these great interactions with the kids. There was fun and laughter and joy and spontaneity. And my expertise is helping kids through their anxieties or trepidations with math. So I thought it'd be great to dress up as a chicken and dub myself the Mathema Chicken while <laughs> teaching algebra, you know, of all things. And uh, I knew that those videos that needed to be captured and put on YouTube for other people to benefit from as well. And uh, those have done uh, tremendously well. They've helped so many people and we haven't looked back ever since. And now it's brought me to you. Yeah, gosh. And it, I am wishing that, that you and that YouTube had been around when I was in school because I was one of those kids that, you know, loved learning, had a ton of anxiety around mathematics. So tell us a little bit about MathStream and, and how that is helping kids like me. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm the same way as you that I wish I was around when I was a kid or at least people like me. Um, and my friends at Carnegie Learning, they found me through that digital footprint through YouTube. It was actually the videos when I was on Venice Beach in LA teaching math as street performance art. And I called it Teach on the Beach, which was super fun teaching math to people from around the world walking by. And they knew that this is our guy, that we want to create a program that we are calling MathStream that actually combines the best of both worlds. We're talking about expert and passionate professional teachers with experience, um, coupled with incredible technology and software and AI that they're bringing um, and their track record of helping students now for decades. And this program, since it's been launched, has been making a tangible and data-driven improvement in the scores of students in multiple districts around the country and for that I, I couldn't be more honored and more excited to to share that with you and show you all the great work that we're doing here yeah that's fantastic okay so show me how this works give us a little how-to this morning absolutely i'm so glad you asked <laughs> instead of tell you what mastering is i want to show you what it is all right and you mentioned before uh when you were a kid you know wanting to have um a teacher like this. So I'll just ask you a question. You know, if you had um, four swings at bat, uh -huh. and you could either do hit or miss. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll got you. I'm going to take care of you. You know, if you could have a hit or miss, the question that students are dealing with, let's say even a middle school student, is how many different outcomes are there for four swings, either being hit or miss? And Ooh. you could start to think about what that is and how many outcomes there would be. But look at this technology, I've, I've become so versed in it. So you could say the first swing would be a hit or a miss. And you know, you show the students in this kind of tiered fashion, scaffolding is what we call it. So the second hit could be a hit or a miss after the first one being a hit. And then from there, each of those, and it becomes kind of self-evident about what's going on. You could have hit, 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 or hit, hit, miss. And then all the way down to the last swing there. So these are all the outcomes starting with hit first. You know, this is called the tree diagram. And then we do the same thing if you start with a miss. So wow. if you count up all those tracks, uh -huh. that's 16 ways of swinging the bat. So something applicable to the students uh, um, in line with their experience. And we use this kind of animated tool and we did it in efficient time mm -hmm. so that they can get to the learning. And, and this is just taking things to the next level. And I'm talking making baseball references and, and how I'm really no good at the game. And I'm laughing at myself and making it human. And that's, the, that's that value, the connection that the students have both to me and to the learning at hand. So I, I'm, cool. I'm so excited for that. Yeah, and what a cool way to visualize it too. I'm already over here, you know, I was trying to count on my fingers and make a list. I'm like, do I multiply right. that by that? This is a great way to really break it down, make it digestible and, and build that confidence as they really start to get engaged in their learning. So as as this program has grown, as your following has grown, uh, what's what's been the response from, from families and kids who have gotten the, the math bug? I mean, it, it's really inspiring. I, I get messages many, many days 
uh, in a row, let's say, talking about how their lives have been changed, um, how they're able to pass some sort of standardized test and let's say become a nurse or coming back from the military and coming back into the job market. Uh, it's, it's really heartening and humbling. And uh, with MathStream, I've had the chance to visit the school districts like in Houston or in um, Brockton, Massachusetts. And I see the enthusiasm that the students have. I see how inspired they are from learning from a program like this. And they're actually feeling that confidence. Um, I, I heard the expression that confidence comes from competence. So when they feel better, when they feel like they're actually learning, they feel better about themselves. And who knows, that opens up life trajectories in terms of job, career, uh, whatever they want to do, that they don't, those paths need not be cut short because of the work that we're doing. Yeah, gosh, it really, yeah. it really does make all the difference. Like I said, wish I'd had this when I was, when I was <laughs> in school, stressing out over those worksheets. Um, Robert, yeah. where can folks go to learn more about MathStream if they've got a kiddo they want to learn? Happily, you can reach out to me and see the work that I'm doing with uh, yaymath.org and go to Carnegie Learning's website as well. Um, and find out about MathStream there. Um, there's uh, all kinds of samples and uh, other information that can help the teachers and students in your district um, get to the next level and, and learn at a high level and improve. Um, so yeah, those are the ways to uh, get connected with us. Oh, that's just great. Math teacher and founder of yaymath.org, Robert Adu. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Great to talk with you. Thanks, Emily. Thanks for having me. And yeah, if you want to learn more about yaymath.org and Carnegie Learning, you can check out coin.com for some resources there. I just think it's a great idea to be able to have someone explaining it to you yeah. at your kitchen table if you needed a little help beyond, you know, just what's in the workbook or what's online. Mm -hmm. It's great.